So I've been playing around with shift registers and the reason for me using a shift register is that I have a large number of inputs and a large number for outputs that I want to be able to do something with. But I only have a small number of pins available to me on the microcontroller for this particular remote control. So what I'm doing is I'm making use of the shift register as kind of a multiplexer. Now the way that the shift register works is that there are three pins. The shift register stores, in this example, it stores about eight bits. So you have one pin which is for data. When that goes high, it's a one. When that goes low, it's a zero. So that's what you use to output the data to the, the shift register. And the second pin is a shift pin. So when that goes high, everything that's in the shift register will shift across by one bit. Whatever's in the last bit falls off the end. And te technically, actually, there's an output for that, which you can then daisy chain as many shift registers as you want from that output to the input of the next shift register. And then you also have the latch pin. So when the latch pin goes high, then everything that you've got in the shift register is actually copied to the output pins so that when the output is enabled, then that data is available. So I've set up a simple circuit here to test that the pins are actually working. So what we have is three LEDs and the green LED is the data pin. Now I've deliberately slowed this down so this goes much, much faster than you see here. So the green pin is the data pin. So that's outputting a one and a zero uh, with a second in between. The red pin is the, uh, excuse me, the red LED is the latch pin. So that's copying the data across to the output. And the yellow LED is for the shift pin. So the pins are all working. And really, the latch and the shift pin are kind of working at the same time because we're copying the data across as we go. We're doing it one bit at a time. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to pause the video very briefly so that I can connect up this, which is my input and output board. And I have one shift register at the moment. I don't have the buttons connected. Um, I have one shift register there acting as an output. So I'll connect that up and show you it working in a second. So this is my input output board. Now I have a problem in that I need to check my soldering. <laughs> so what you can see is that some of the LEDs are lighting up and some of them are not. But what you can see is that data is being shifted across from right to left. So the right hand side is the least significant bit and the left hand side is the most significant bit. And this is all coming from the uh, Nerduino that I soldered. And um, I just need to make sure that the soldering is correct on these LEDs. But for the most part, this is actually working.